channel. So if you're new here, my name is Nene D. I am a certified personal trainer. Today, I'm gonna walk you through my 2024 fully updated dumbbells only lower body glute routine, okay? I don't like to waste any time, so. Let's just go ahead and jump right into this video. We are gonna start with one of my favorite glute exercises, okay? The RDL. So typically I'll do four sets, right? So the first set is gonna be 15 reps with whatever my starting weight is, which for me today I'm doing 25s. And then I'll probably go up to 35 pounds for my second set and I'll drop the reps to 12. And then I'll go up to 45 pounds for my third set and drop the reps to 10. And then for my fourth and last set, I'll increase the dumbbells to 55 pounds and I will drop the reps to eight, okay? When I first started my journey, I used to mostly feel my RDLs on my back, right? You don't wanna feel it on your lower back. You wanna engage your glutes or your hamstrings, okay? You're either doing a hamstring bias RDL, which is where you do more stiff leg, right? So less bend at the knee, or you're doing a glute focus RDL. That's where you bend your knees a slightly more so that you can fully extend your glutes when you hinge down, okay? RDL is more of a hinging movement, okay? So it's not a squatting movement, it's more of a hinge at the hip. So you kind of want to think of pushing your hips back while slightly bending your knees, okay? Keeping your back and spine neutral at all times. If I am facing you, right, and I'm standing like this, I want my feet to be slightly pointed out. So you don't need this, you just need this. And in order for you to get to this stance, you wanna put your feet together like this, right? Step out, step out. This is the perfect stance for your RDL. If you don't know how far apart to put your feet, that's okay. Put your feet together, extend them out as far as you can, and just perfectly align them. That should automatically place you at shoulder width apart. So what you don't want to do is this. As you go down, you don't want to look up because when you do that, it affects how your spine and your back is positioned, okay? So you want to make sure that your neck, your spine, and your back are perfectly aligned. The way I do that is I start like this, facing forward, and as I hinge my hips and push them back, I like to Make sure that I'm looking down, looking down, looking down, looking down. Once I get to here, right, where my arms are slightly below my knees, okay, that's when I feel my glutes fully stretched. And that's my cue to come back up. What you don't want to do is go all the way down, down here. Because once you're here, do you see how my back is rounded right now? You don't need that because what that does is it hurts your lower back. You wanna be able to control the movement and do it to the point where your spine is still fully neutral and your glutes are fully stretched. So my cue for that is again, you wanna hold your hands to the side, go down, down, push your hips back, bend your knee, push your hips back, push your hips back, here. I don't even have any weights and I already feel it, right? You see how my hands are slightly below my knees? I don't need to go lower than that because once I go lower, my back starts to round. So I stop right here. And then as I'm coming up, this is TMI, but I like to think of like something in the middle of your, your cheeks and you're kind of like trying to squeeze it together, okay? So you don't want to come up using your back. You want to come up squeezing your glutes together and pushing your feet into the ground. You're gonna go ahead. Grab the weight, don't do this, don't lift from here. Squat down, push your heels into the ground and pick up the weight like that, okay? So I don't want you to hold the dumbbells to the side like this, no. And I don't want you to hold them straight in front of you. I want them to be right here at a 45 degree angle, okay? So from here, put your feet together, extend out, right? Toes slightly turned out, okay? Roll your shoulders back a little bit. Good, engage your lats. And from here, you're gonna to start to push your hips back. Push your hips back, push them back, back, back. Bend at the knee. Right here, I can feel my glutes fully stretched out, okay? And that's my cue to come back up and I'm gonna squeeze through my glutes, okay? If you really focus on mind to muscle connection and you do this properly, you should feel it right away, okay? So, we're gonna do 15 reps. Ready? Oh, 
One. Oh, two. Last one, let's go. Up, up, up. Ooh. That was only the first round, and I promise you, my glutes are already on fire. Now we're gonna go ahead and move to the second round. So I'm gonna go get my 35 pound dumbbells, and this time, instead of doing 15, we're gonna do 12, okay? And we're gonna start here, push your hips back. Ready? Ooh. One. sets to do we're gonna go up in weights and we're gonna drop the the reps down okay so now we're gonna move on and we're gonna do a B stance RDL but we're gonna add a slight rotation to it okay so I know people are very familiar with how to do a B stance RDL so you basically stand like this right like how you stand as if you're about to do a regular RDL and then you take your non-working leg and you're gonna place it on its toes, okay? So this would be a B stance RDL, right? But instead of doing it like that, like how we normally do it, we are going to add a slight rotation towards the working leg, okay? So stand shoulder width apart, right? You are going to place your non-working leg in a B stance, right? And then from here, you're gonna go down like you're doing a regular B stance RDL, back up. And for the second round, you're going to slightly rotate towards the working leg. Who already feel that? That's two, back up, one, and four. Oh, shit. Six, come on, two more. Up. <sighs> you know what's the worst part about this? That's just half of the rep. So I have to now stand back up and place the other foot in a B stance and finish that first set. So let's do this. I'm gonna show you what it looks like from the back. So B stance, right? Go ahead. I lean forward regularly and twist. Regular, twist, regular, Ooh. twist. Last one, uh, regular, uh, twist. All right, you guys, obviously, we cannot wrap this dumbbells only lower body glue focus routine without doing the most hated glue exercise, which is Bulgarian split squats. So I have a love-hate relationship with this exercise because it freaking sucks to do, but 
it will get your glutes to where you need them to be. So you just have to suck it up and do them, okay? It's really easy to set this up, right? So instead of like guessing where your foot placement needs to be, this is what I want you to do. Grab a bench, right? Sit at the edge of the bench, right? Now, I want you to remember that there are two different um, variations of the Bulgarian split squat. You can do a glute bias Bulgarian split squat, or you can do a quad bias Bulgarian split squat. It all depends on your positioning and your stance, okay? So obviously today, I'm gonna go into detail about what your glute focused and glute bias Bulgarian split squat should look like, okay? You're gonna extend whatever foot you're gonna work with first. I'm gonna go with my right. Honestly, I don't think it matters which one you go with first. The last one always sucks. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with my right, right? Extend it all the way out, right? And put it on your heel. So from there, push yourself off. And from here, right? You're gonna place your non-working foot directly on the bench. So now from here, I want you to slightly lean forward, okay? So you don't wanna be standing up straight because that is going to target more of your quads. We're hitting glutes and I need, you to, I need your glutes to be fully stretched out at the bottom of the movement. So I want you to slightly lean forward before you even start the motion. And from here, you're gonna be holding your dumbbells sideways, right? So from here, you're going to squat down, squat down, squat down, okay? Once you feel your glutes fully stretched out, that's your cue to come back up. But you notice how when I'm coming up, I'm coming up at a diagonal. I'm not coming up straight like this. I am coming up like this at a diagonal, okay? I'm coming up at an angle. So you're going back, sit back, and come up. So I do a total of four sets, and I increase the weight as I drop the reps, okay? So first one, we're gonna do a total of 10 reps, okay? And then we're gonna increase the weight, do another eight, increase the weight, do another six, increase the weight, and do another four, okay? Now, just doing one leg is not a set. You have to do both legs, that's one set. So if our first set consists of 10 reps per leg, that means per set, you're doing 20 reps total, okay? So, let's go ahead and do this bad boy. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and start with my right again. So extend your foot out, sit at the edge, and go ahead, push yourself off. Put your non-working foot on the bench. From here, I'm gonna kneel down, right? You see here, your foot is at a 90, right? Cool. You're gonna go ahead, grab your dumbbells, right? And from here, you don't wanna be standing up straight. You wanna lean forward slightly, and then you begin the descent down, okay? So we're gonna go for 10. Ready? Let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Ooh, five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. Ten. Ready? So, slightly lean forward, and we're gonna go for another 10. Ooh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one. Ooh, 10. Oh my God. I freaking hate this exercise. Last but not least, we're gonna do one of the most underrated um, glute exercises, in my opinion. That's the single leg hip thrust. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do this. The way I figure out where to put my feet is I like to sit directly next to the bench, right? And then wherever my knee lands, I like to put my hand there and place my heel where my fingertips end, okay? And then when 
I position myself and I squeeze all the way up, this places me automatically at a 90, okay? And that's the perfect way to find your foot placement, okay? Because you know, if your foot is too close to your glutes while you're doing these, you're gonna feel it mostly on your quads. And if your feet are too far away from your glutes, you're gonna feel it mostly on your hamstrings. What you wanna do is feel it on your glutes. And in order to do that, your foot needs to be at a 90 degree angle, okay? When you squeeze at the top, when you're at the top of the motion, your foot needs to be at a perfect 90 degree angle, okay? So, again, sit at the edge, right? You're gonna find where your knee is, right? So for me, it's right here. And then I'm gonna take my heel, place it right where my fingertips end, right? This is gonna be my first working leg. So from here, I'm gonna put my lats on the bench. So from here, you are going to Extend your non-working leg, right? It's not a scooping motion, okay? You wanna keep your torso straight. So it's more of a hinge, okay? So you're not bending your back at all. So you're gonna go down, come up, and as you come up, you're gonna kick your knee up high on your non-working leg, okay? So like that, squeeze up, you're gonna feel it in your glutes, perfectly at a 90. Keep your chin tucked in. You never wanna look up, okay? Because it's gonna place some tension on your spine and you're gonna end up having back problems. You don't want that, okay? So chin tucked in at all times, perfect 90. Squeeze up the top and take your time. Obviously, mind to muscle connection, okay? Now we're gonna throw in a dumbbell in there. First, I'm gonna grab the dumbbell. <coughs> I like to put it on my non-working leg first until I position my back. After I position my back, I'm gonna switch it over. So you don't want this to be on your hip because that's what happens. And then you put too much pressure on your hip bone and it's gonna hurt, okay? So you're gonna place it on your thigh. The hand that's on the side of your working leg, you're gonna hold the middle of the dumbbell like this. You're gonna take the hand that's on the side of your non-working leg and you're gonna grab the top of the dumbbell like this, okay? Chin tucked in. Extend your non-working leg, and as you come up, you're gonna kick your non-working leg up high towards you, back down, up, squeeze, back down, up, squeeze, back down, two, up, chin tucked in, five, six, up, up, seven, Woo. eight, nine, one more, Slide it over, alternate your feet, I mean your arms. Make sure your feet are aligned so you don't miss that 90 degree. Get back up, extend your non-working leg, hold the dumbbell at the top. Ready? We're gonna go for another 10. Chin tucked in, one, good job, up, up, two, three, good job, four, five, Whew. Six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. That is one of the most underrated glue exercises, okay? Definitely go ahead and give it a try. I'm gonna increase the weight, do my second set, but drop the reps to eight, increase the weight again. Do my third set, drop the reps to six. Increase the weight again, do my fourth set, and drop the reps to four. Obviously, I'm gonna rest a little bit. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I do have a fitness app that's available for you to download. You get a free seven day trial on me. It comes with a custom made personalized meal plan to fit your specific nutrition in order for you to meet your goals. Sorry you guys, I'm out of breath because I'm so tired. You get a seven day free trial on me and after that it's only $19.99 a month. It doesn't matter whether you're trying to gain weight, lose weight, do body recomp, um, 
Snatch your waist. If you don't have access to a gym, don't worry. There's an at-home workout guide specifically for you. Um, again, it comes with a meal plan with your macros perfectly matched with your specific nutrition needs, whether you're vegan, vegetarian, everything is in there. Whether you're gluten-free, everything is within the app. And to top it off, once you sign up, you get access to my private community full of amazing women who are also on their fitness journeys and are just working on themselves. It is a safe space for women only. Once you get into my private community chat, you can text me anytime and ask me any fitness related questions and I'll get back to you ASAP and you get to interact with other amazing women who are also trying to achieve their fitness goals. Summer is literally right around the corner. So go ahead and download now. I'm going to leave the link below. Again, you get a free seven day trial on me. And after that, it's only $19.99 a month, literally less than $20. There's a huge giveaway that's gonna be announced really soon. You'll get access to all of my workout guides and you can cancel anytime, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this helpful, definitely go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye you guys.